Uh, my name is Lara Presber. I'm a local women's wear designer and I use my background in architecture to influence my women's clothing line. See, what I like about Lara's work is she designs for a woman, so when you wear it, you actually feel really good and it feels sexy without having to try too hard. It's more of a sophisticated style. And I'm a designer as well, so I kind of appreciate her architectural inspirations that come into her clothing. Each season I take a building that I really like and try to extract some of the more kind of cool, interesting features and translate it into a line of clothing. So sometimes that comes from the materiality, some transparency, uh, layering of structure, the actual structure of the garment itself. Uh, and I think I always lean towards um, simplicity. The first one is a top from the Bow Building here in Calgary. Um, and the second one, I did a collection inspired by the Dubai skyline. Because I think normally when you think of Dubai, you think of like glass and steel and crisp and blue. But the time that I was there, it was during a sandstorm. And it was really cool because all like the orange, the layers like really soften the city. Yeah, so typically Laura would fit you and make sure all your measurements are correct before she'll send in the order to have it produced. Um, yeah, just make sure everything fits perfectly. It's a pleasure, it's, it's fun, and it's nice knowing that your clothing's gonna come back and fit you like a glove. So originally when I started designing, I had a very traditional approach to women's wear, and I had a retail store, and I did a full collection each season, sold at stores across Canada. And because I've really built up my architecture practice again, it was too much, and I, I didn't wanna give up the fashion, so I've paired it back to just releasing one piece a month and I only sell it here in the studio or online. Um, and the way that it works is there's a certain piece that's available for one month and the greater volume, obviously my savings is greater for production, it goes down considerably producing in Canada, but if I can sell over 50 pieces, it actually, my production costs are almost half. Uh, so instead of you know, keeping the profit for myself, I pass it along to my clients. It gives you something to look forward to and it's a nice idea to try to generate interest. And I think that there's something really nice about the anticipation of waiting eight weeks to have something and to know that what you're getting, that you know, not everybody else is going to have it. Um, and then if it's someone local, they can come and pick it up and I'm here, they can try it on, I can, you know, whatever needs to be done to do a fitting and customize it a little bit for that person. You're buying a piece of art essentially, in a way. It just happens to be on your body rather than your wall. I'll be involved buying her clothes and wearing her clothes probably as long as she's producing the clothes. I think it's always nice to discover what it is, what your passion is in life, and to be able to act upon it. It's, it's really fulfilling, and to be able to make a living doing what you love is, you know, it never feels like work.